does anyone else notice that um nobody ever like changes their clothes? Ray always wears the same outfit and the same nightdress. And Miku's always wearing the same outfit too, and Kay's always wearing the same outfit. It's kind of gross. I mean, either they never change their clothes, or... Ray? I don't know. <laughs> okay, what is this? Um, twin deification. Yeah, so that's pretty much having to do with the legend behind uh, Fatal Frame 2. Good for you, Miku. Yeah. But as I was saying earlier, it's kind of gross that everyone just wears the same clothes every freaking day. Either that or they just have like a million of the same shirt, same pants, same skirts, whatever. That's kind of weird. Anyways, we are in the dark room and we got a... Um, develop some film. Yeah. A shadowy form that looks like the girl I photographed behind the partition. She seems to be holding a book or something in her hand. This must be the photo I took of the hidden well deep within the house surrounded by sacred rope and paper. A woman is peering mournfully into the well. I think because she threw her baby in there. And it's night again. Um, I don't know. I find this game kind of repetitive at times. Always waking up in the morning and ending up in your room at night. It's repetitive, to say the least. And there's a ghost. Ray? What's the matter? Miku, I want you to shut the fuck up. You shouldn't be singing this late at night. That's what I would say to her. Then go to sleep. Yeah, Miku always says, I just want to sleep. So she should just go to sleep then. Even if there are ghosts in her dreams that want to kill her, that's okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to check out Yu's room to see if he left any files for us. Anything here? Nope. How about here? Yes. It's the manner of sleep. Okay. So you guys could pause it and read it if you want to. Okay, um, anything else here? Okay, Carpenter spirited away. Lovely. Okay, um, yeah, that's about it here. So, back to Ray's room. And we're gonna have her go back to sleep again. Yes.
so we are in hour 11, the last passage. And the woman in her cell hasn't woken up because she's sleeping, I guess, with her eyes open. Um, yeah. I really don't like playing as Miku. Okay, the curtains of this area in the middle is finally open, so now we could uh, pick up whatever's in here. Uh, I forgot what it is. Calico notebook. Yes. And uh, at the stairway, there should be a ghost. Yeah, right there. And so, follow the ghost up the stairs. Because there's something we need to take a picture of. Um, yeah, there's this blue thing. So take a picture of it. And it shows a different place in the photo, and it shows that little girl, um, we have, we just developed a photo with that little girl in it, so we gotta go find the little girl in, like, the opposite side of the house. Right, so let's get out of here. And let's grab the Type 14 film. This house is so creepy. I would, like, die if I was stuck in this house. Okay, let's get out of here. Because we got to make our way to the courtyard. But before we go to the courtyard, um, I would like to stop by the projector room. So we could watch that film that um, Kay picked up in the last session. A movie time. Abyss. Sounds like fun, right? I'll let you guys get a better look. Yeah, it looks like fun stuff. Okay. And uh, let's pick up this film, Type 14, again. You can never have too much Type 14 film. Oh, jeez. There is a ghost around here somewhere. Um, I don't feel like fighting a ghost right now, though, so I'm just going to continue on my way and get the fuck out of here. Yay, I'm safe. We got to make our way through the double doors. <sighs> I wish Miku ran faster. Let's go pick up that herbal medicine over here. Because you never know when you're going to need herbal, herbal medicine. This place is actually kind of cool, just that it's super creepy at the same time. I don't know if I'd be able to handle it in real life. I mean, the first time I played this game, I was, like, terrified to play this game because I'm, like, deathly afraid of ghosts. Now I'm okay 
when I play this game it doesn't scare me anymore, but if I was here in real life I think I'd be like having a heart attack right now. Yeah, and they're singing coming from upstairs, so we gotta go find the little girl who's singing. And there is a dead body there, and just ignore it. And my purifying light is running out. That's not good. Okay, singing has become louder. That's because we're getting close, which is good. So yeah. We got the commandment Tome. Lovely, okay. And a purifying light. That's good. Okay. Awesome, cuz it's it, it's just the worst when you run out of the purifying light cuz um that ghost, the blue ghost lady with no shirt on then like chases you and molests you and stuff and that's never fun now be careful when leaving this room because I think the rope man ghost is like floating around here somewhere and he'll try to like kick your ass Okay, I have no idea where he is. He is here somewhere, though. Holy crap. I saw that. Okay, but I am safe now. Ugh, oh, awesome. I hate Rope Man. He could just die and burn in hell. Let's get out of here.